Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be doing a little pond hopping. Um, you know those days where just everything just goes wrong and you just keep receiving bad news after bad news after bad news? Well, this is one of those days, so hopefully I can make it up to y'all by uh, getting some good content out. I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to go fish. Hopefully it kind of helps. Um, fishing's a pretty good therapy so hopefully I can catch some fish and shake it off but you know not every day is a good day you have those days where everything just doesn't go right you know I have a lot of days that go great nothing wrong and today's just not one of those kind of days so pardon me if I'm not very enthusiastic in the video um, I'm trying you know but it's whatever I'll get over it so hopefully I can make it up to y'all with some fish so I'm gonna be hitting up some ponds uh, the same one you saw in my last video, so hopefully I can catch some fish and uh, get some on film. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Well, to try to make things better, I decided there's not a better way to do that than to go catch bass. And even better than just catching bass is to catch bass on top waters. So my setups for today are a Shimano Corrado 70 and a 7 2 to 1 gear ratio, 65 pound. Uh, Power Pro Max Quattro Braid 7.2 Heavy Shimano Zodius Rod Spro Pop and Frog in like the green natural color, natural green, whichever it is. Um, really natural colored Spro Pop and Frog. Then I haven't caught a spook fish this year, so I wanted to try one of these. Um, it's a Daiwa Aired 17 pound monofilament, 7 foot Falcon medium action rod, and the Strike King Top Dog? Sexy Dog? Uh, honestly, can't remember, whichever one it is. Uh, in sexy shad color so got a frog and a shad colored bait so hopefully I can catch some fish got a buzz bait uh, in the backpack just to just to make sure but anyways these are gonna be the main setups for today I'm gonna try to catch some fish on these there he is Well, that's my first spook fish of the year. So that's pretty cool. These are not something to play around with, with a crazy fish like this. Missed it once, threw back in there, got him again. Second, or first fish on the spook. That's about my fourth or fifth blow up today, but could never connect on any of them. Finally got one though. There we go, first one down. There's the icebreaker. Hopefully now I can put a few more a few more fish with a little bit bigger size in, so we'll keep grinding. Oh missed him. That was a good fish right there. That thing came and looked like a whale coming out of the water on that. Oh, missed it. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Stay on there. a lot bigger than I thought guys <laughs> that's a topwater fish for you that is a topwater fish second fish this year on the spook that was a good one right there look at that one on the strike king 
Man, that's a good fish. I'm gonna get some pictures and let her go. Again, I don't have my scale this time. Man, that's a nice healthy fish though. Just absolutely crushed that top water. Missed it the first time, missed it the second time, and then finally got her the third. So I'm gonna get some pictures. Well, I guess that's one way to help out a, a bad day. But anyways, that's probably about a two and a half, three pounder. I'd say pushing three pounds. But uh, anyways, it's, that's a great fish on a top water. Second one on the spook this year. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her go. Great fight too. Awesome. Sweet, stay tuned guys. There he is. That's a good fish. <laughs> made a made a cast and my, my lure got foul hooked. So I recast it in that same spot. And uh it's a good one. Recasting that same spot and I was adjusting my feet and I got hit, so it's typically how it works a lot of the time. You get hit as soon as the bait hits the water, you have a good chance of getting hit without even twitching it. It's a good fish. That's why you catch and release, guys. There's my hook hole right there. That's where he's been hooked previously. So always good to practice catch and release. There he goes. Awesome fish number three on the spook. Oh, that's a good fish. Man, that thing tanked it. Came out of the water and ate it on the way down. That was crazy. That's a really good fish too. Really good fish. I'm gonna come over here to this flat area so I can land her. Man, that was a really cool blow up. That's why I throw a topwater right there. The single reason. That's a three pounder. Man, it's so scary grabbing these fish with two treble hooks in them. There we go. And it's another really healthy fish. It's probably about two, two and a quarter, somewhere in there. Super healthy, really fat. Especially in these uh, overcast days, that white really stands out and they can really see it. Um, so it's easier for them to key in on versus a black or a uh, darker color. Man, super nice fish. <coughs> there she goes. Awesome, man. Jeez, this is a good day. I picked a good day to make a bad day better. I'll tell you that, that's for sure. So anyways, that's the fourth fish, I think. Fourth or fifth, I can't remember. Um, on the spook, so having a great day for my first time throwing a spook this year. And uh, I'm just gonna keep at it. I'm like halfway around the pond, if that. So getting to the good stuff over here. So I'm just gonna keep throwing this thing and hopefully can get some more really cool blow ups just like that last one. So stay tuned, hope you guys are enjoying so far. No way, that was a giant fish right there. Oh my gosh. Wow. That fish came up and waked behind it. Holy crap, that was a big one. <laughs> oh my God, that was a giant. I saw him coming up behind it from his wake and he just torpedoed on it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna wait that one off. I want that fish to come back. That was a giant. I know he was over three for sure. And it looked a little bit bigger than that, but they always look bigger when they come and do that. So I'm just gonna play it safe. Uh, that's one thing to do. A little tip sometimes, not all the time, sometimes if you miss a top water bite and come back in a little bit, they'll hit. I'm gonna wait like 
probably three or four minutes, five minutes, and uh, see if I can get that one to come back. Because that was a really good fish. And I would love to catch another really good fish like that. Oh, good fish. Oh my gosh, good fish. Really good fish. He came back. Stay on, stay hooked. Stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. That's a really big fish. Really big fish. Stay hooked, stay hooked. There he is. That is why you wait. That is a toad. Look at that fish. Just absolutely crushed that top water. Oh my goodness. Look at that post spawn belly right there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> this day might make a complete 180. Look at that. That's a tank. Just a stud on a top water. Absolute stud on the spook. Gonna get some pictures with this beautiful fish and then let her go. Okay guys, gonna let this magnificent fish go. Man, this was a good fish. That is why you wait to go throw back into a spot if you get a blow up on the top water. A lot of people go back and throw a Cinco and stuff like that, but I just prefer to catch them on top waters. Wow. This turned out to be a pretty good trip. I don't know if you agree or not, but I'm liking it. There he is. Little one. Well guys, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to end on that one. Um, it was a really, really fun day, and uh, I had a great time out here fishing a spook for the first time this year, and uh, the results are great. So bottom line is, spooks catch big fish and small fish too, but for the majority, they catch a lot of big fish. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I had to end this this really cool video on this small of a fish, but I gotta get home, get some homework done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, we'll catch y'all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all in the water. Mm -hmm.